James, what did it, um, I know it's not three times in a row now getting elected to five times consecutive starting the All-Star Game. How special is that for you? Uh, very, very, very special. You know, you, you never want to take things like that for granted. Uh, for me, I just go out there and try to put the work in uh, every single day. And, and, you know, whether it's the fans or you know, the, my peers or the media that votes, it's an honor. And um, I'm just happy to be a part of it. When you get the news like that, what are your emotions? How does it get you? Uh, I mean, it's like I said, it's an accomplishment. You know, I'm excited just like it's my first time. Uh, you never want to take those opportunities for granted. And uh, I'll cherish those moments and these moments like, you know, like, I, like it's my first time. How nice will it be to get Chris back? I didn't even know it was coming back Sunday, <laughs> um, but it'll be great. You know, we've been missing him. We've been missing his leadership, his playmaking ability, um, just his presence on the court. You know, so it'll be pretty exciting. I know we have a lot of energy and juice for Sunday. What's so important about your role players, especially this last stretch you've had with that Chris? How important are they to the way you're playing? Right now? They're they're their team right there. They're they're everything. You know, in order for us to have a chance of winning, they have to play well, and not just. You know, offensively or defensively, like both both sides of the basketball, um, whether it's creating opportunities defensively and getting out in transition, or uh, defensively just you know being active, getting their hands on um, in passing lanes, offensively knocking down shots, getting to the basket. Um, so they're they're crucial to the to the team and what we're doing. You carry such a load here. When you see a guy like uh, Eric step up in the final seconds to, and willing to take that big three, what, how special is that? Was that? I mean, I mean, Eric lives for those moments, you know. I set a screen, the guy went under, he was wide open. You know, we just spent 10 minutes shooting just like those shots right there. So uh, he's com comfortable. Um, sometimes they go in, sometimes, sometimes they don't, but uh, he'll take those shots. Can you this talk this moment, go ahead. In this moment in your eyes, do you feel like you're just completely unguardable? Is that something that goes through your life? I mean, I've always felt like that. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know about now, but I've, I've had that feeling. And it's just it's just confidence. That's all it is. James, can you... Uh, it was such a special moment in New York because the fans showed appreciation for you. I was yeah. talking with the coach about how it's underrated how durable you are. And sometimes it's like people don't appreciate what you got. <laughs> Have you, is that, is it more fun? Do people, that, do you notice that? More People are more appreciative of what you're doing now? I like to hoop. I love to hoop. Let me change that. I love to hoop. I love to just be out there and, and the grind these days, you know, adversity, you know, guys are injured. You got to, play a bigger role. Uh, you got to figure ways to win games. You lose some games, you're in a tough stretch. You got to find a way to get out. Like, that's what makes me, you know, prevail and be who I am, you know? So uh, the fans in, in MSG appreciate that and, um, you know, try to give them as much as I can. How have you kind of changed your training to be able to deliver those kind of results, those kind of minutes? More, more weightlifting, game? more weightlifting, uh, more treatment, more cold tubs. But I mean, it's easy for, you know, me to miss a game or two games or make sure every time I come on the court, my body is 100% or healthy. You know, I don't, the grind days are what, you know, makes me like fight and be who I am. So I don't worry about uh, what people have to say. I go out there and compete. And my goal every year is to play 82 games and play as many games as I can in the playoffs. And, uh, Sometimes it doesn't work like that, and you got to go out there in the summertime and prepare yourself for the next season and to do the same thing over until it's over, until it's done. You called Chris a leader just now. How has, uh, your, like, how has it been without him? How much has it helped you grow as a leader? Say it again? How, how much, like, you've been with that Chris for a while. Hmm. How has it helped you grow as a leader? You just called him a leader, too. Yeah, i got to be more vocal. Obviously, I'm vocal, but I have to do it by example even more. You know, i got to make sure I'm communicating with the guys even more. Usually there's two guys. Or even three with PJ, but now you know Chris wasn't. You know he's been out, so just had to be more vocal, man. We've but the guys do a really good job of, of policing themselves and uh, making sure that you know they they they're focused. I don't like to talk about um, what you've been doing and the numbers and everything, but is there any like friend or relative or anybody you've heard from during the stretch that told you something that kind of made you laugh or that you really enjoyed or anything nope. like that? Nobody, nobody can praise me. Nobody can you know none of my friends and close family. Like I don't want to really talk about it here, you know, we got a long way to go. So several plays like this in a game, but in the Knicks game, they, they double team you, you pass the Kenneth, he hits Gerald Green, he couldn't be more wide open. What's that like to see? <laughs> it's been like that, honestly. Like, double, I've been seeing double teams, triple teams, uh, zones, boxing ones, I've been seeing it all for these past few weeks. And as long as I give the guys confidence that when they get the opportunity to shoot the ball or finish the ball, 
they're going to do it. And even if they miss a shot, it's going to happen again, and they're going to keep coming back to you. So it's all about building confidence with your teammates, you know. And so I, I know the attention that I draw on the court, and, and, and uh, the defense is locked on me. So I, I try to help the guys get their opportunities, uh, make it more easier for them to score. Um, that way, defensively, they have the juice, and, and, and we can help each other out as well. James, I saw you talk to Derek Lewis. What do you think about what he does for a living? He's a beast, man. I'm, I couldn't do it, but he's a beast. <laughs> he's a beast, and I just I just told him that I would want to come watch him train just to see uh, you know, how he prepares for those type of fights. You'd want no part of that? Nope. No, I don't want no smoke. When, when Derek <laughs> comes up to you, uh, you become ingrained in this Houston society, really. Travis Scott's a friend of yours. Travis is going to... So you get the Super Bowl, and they, oh, yeah. what, they gravitate towards you. What, what pride do you take seeing these guys succeed? They gravitate towards me, but also gravitate towards them. You know, I, I see the incredible work he does, and you know the, the work that he puts in to be able to go fight and provide for his family. Even Travis, you know, he's like a rock star now. You know, and and being there, being able to perform at the Super Bowl is like a big deal. You know, and he worked his butt off to be able to get that opportunity. You know, and then I'm just from out the country tours and in, in, in the country tours, like the shows, like these fans, they're passionate and they embrace it. You know, that's why I love to go because I love to see, um, you know, that kind of rock star lifestyle. See how can I, you know, bring it to the, to the basketball basketball court. I try a little bit, but uh, it's two totally different fields, but um, I appreciate them. But remain the same guy. Yeah, like still you. humble, still loves the work, still uh, very friendly. Even somebody like Bun B, who, you know, who's, uh, he's some legend who comes to the games and uh, he does a lot of things in the community, but he's someone that I, I respect as well.